Hi everyone, today we're creating a game that shows just how destructive an invasive species like the round goby fish can be to our ecosystem. And we're going to be using Scratch to create this game and hey if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher on coding, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube. If you go to Pekka Radio and I suggest that you s subscribe to my channel because I'll be releasing videos weekly and monthly on coding. So today's activity, we're gonna be going to Scratch and I'm gonna click the Create button because we're creating something brand new. And if a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing the tutorial today. You can also exit the cat. So goodbye to the cat, I'm gonna click on the garbage can. We're gonna be getting a new sprite today and the one that I like is the shark because we're making a round goby fish. And the, the sprite that looks closest to the round goby fish for my for me is the shark. So right there, I'm going to double click shark. Perfect. You'll notice that the shark, when I click costumes, has three different costumes. Costume A, costume B, and costume C. I like costume C the best, so I'm going to leave it at that one. And in this game today, we're going to have the goby fish chasing my mouse pointer around the screen. So this is kind of fun. Uh, so watch how I do that. I'm going to go to green flag. So when a green flag is clicked, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so you can see it there. There we go. When a green flag is clicked, I'm going to have this uh, goby fish point towards my mouse pointer. You can see my black mouse pointer there. Wherever it goes, the goby fish is going to point towards it. So I'm going to go to the motions and grab the one that says point towards mouse pointer. And then after it points towards the mouse pointer, it's going to take 10 steps. So I'm going to grab that one. And he's going to do this forever and ever. So point towards mouse pointer, move 10 steps. Repeat, repeat, repeat forever. Watch, he'll chase the mouse pointer around. It's pretty cool. Like that. However, he's going way too fast for me. Yikes. Hold on. So I'm going to make him slow down a little bit. I'm going to grab the wait one second there and put it in after he moves 10 steps. Ready? Green flag and go. Oh my, way too slow. So what I'm going to do is make it go zero points, maybe two seconds. Let's try that. Ready? Green flag. Perfect. That's a nice speed. I'm just going to stop there for a moment. I'm also going to shrink the goby fish because it's way too big for my game. So instead of being 100%, I'm going to make it like 50%. Perfect, right there. I also need a nice backdrop to go with my game, so something underwater. So I'm going to click way down here and choose an underwater backdrop. I think there's a few to choose from. You can choose whichever one you like the best. For me, the one I like is underwater right there, so I'm going to double click that one. Perfect, right there. So next, what we need to do is to have a little bit of an introduction. So when people come to our game, they know what's, what to do and how to play it. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the looks button right there and I'm going to grab the say button right there and I'm going to drag it in and put it at, right after the green flag. So before he starts chasing me around, he's going to explain a little bit about the game. So it's going to say something like this. I'm a round goby fish for two seconds. Now I'm going to get another one. Now I'm going to have him say something like this. I'm taking over the ecosystem by eating all of the food. Perfect, and maybe instead of two seconds, I'll make this for four seconds because it's kind of hard to read all of that in two seconds. Then I'm gonna put another one. You can put as many different things as you like, and I'm just gonna uh, give them an instruction on how to play. Help me find food. There we go, perfect. So watch what happens when I hit the green flag. He starts explaining how to play the game. I'm around goby fish. I'm taking all over the ecosystem. Help me find food. So that's perfect. And now he starts chasing me around. Wonderful. I'm just going to stop there. Just to make the coding a little bit easier, uh, I'm going to find something to represent food. And so what I thought I would get to represent food is the crystal. Where is the crystal? Right there. This crystal. I like the blue one. So there we go. This crystal will represent food. We've lost a crystal. I'm going to do it again. Crystal right there. Perfect. So there's the crystal right there. Crystal represents food, whether that's zebra mussels, bacteria, smaller fish. It all just represents food. So anytime there's a crystal, that means food. So now we've got to code the crystal. And look what I'm going to do for coding the crystal. So when a green flag is clicked, 
I want the crystal to go to a random place on the screen. So motion, go to a random position right there. Perfect. Now we're going to code it so that if it gets eaten by the shark, the crystal disappears. So I'm going to get another green flag. You can have many green flags. So I'm going to go get the second green flag. So when a green flag is clicked, we want to check to see if it's touching the shark. And if it is touching the shark, then to hide. So if, 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 if touching there, no, it's right there. If, right there. If touching the shark, touching is a sense. So it's in the sensing button. Touching, I know it says mouse pointer. I'm going to change that in a minute. But I'm going to drag it over here and slide it right there and let go. Perfect. If touching shark two, wonderful. So when a green flag is clicked, if the diamond or the crystal is touching the shark too, then I want it to hide. Right there, hide. Perfect. Now, um, this isn't going to work uh, as it is because when a green flag is clicked, it checks one time and that's it. It doesn't check ever again. So we've got to tell a computer to check forever, over and over again, a hundred times per second to see if it's touching the shark. So when a green flag is clicked, forever check to see if you're touching the shark. And if you are touching the shark, then hide. Hey, anytime you use a hide button, you also got to use a show because if you play it more than once, you'll never see the, uh, the crystal again. So I'm going to get a show. So when a green flag is clicked, go to a random position and show yourself. Then forever check to see if touching the shark. And if it is, then hide. So let's just test it out. Ready? Green flag and go. I'm around goby fish. Help me catch my food. Perfect. You notice it disappeared right away? Wonderful. So that is done perfectly. Next, to turn it into a real game, um, we should add points. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the variables button right there, variables, and I'm going to make a variable. And this is how we make our points. So I'm going to click make a variable, and I'm going to call this ecosystem health. So this is um, keeping track of the health of our ecosystem. And I'm going to press OK. You can use other things, health or lives or whatever. But I'm going to call it ecosystem health. Perfect. I'm going to get another green flag. So when a green flag is clicked, let's set the ecosystem points to 20 when the game starts. Because right now, the ecosystem is healthy. So set the ecosystem points to 20 right there so at the beginning of the game when you hit the green flag the points should go to 20. perfect so there we go it's gone to 20. now whenever you catch food uh the ecosystem health goes down so we're going to make it lose points every time you touch uh the, the food which will represent what happens in our ecosystem so now look when a green flag is clicked forever if touching the shark then hide but also let's change our points by negative one minus one and we're almost done you're being very patient thank you so now whenever you're playing and you catch a goby fish or the goby fish catches food the points go down by one um i know i know it's not really a game when there's only one diamond so now that we've coded this just perfectly look what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate the crystal a whole bunch of times so i'm going to put the mouse pointer right on the crystal there i'm going to put two fingers on my touchpad and press down and duplicate it so there's another one and another one, and another one. And I'm gonna make 20 of them so that it starts at 20 points and you lose all your points by the end. So there's that uh, done. I think we need to do one more thing to make it a really good game to demonstrate just how dangerous the goby fish are to the ecosystems. Look, I'm gonna do something fun here. I'm gonna go down to the sprites and I'm gonna get this button right there. Now it's gray. I'm going to make this into an alert button. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to change the color a little bit. So I'm going to go to the costume of the button. I'm going to paint it red. Uh, fire engine red, a really uh, concerning color red like that. I'm going to hit the paint bucket. I'm going to click in there. Perfect. Now I'm going to write on it. So I'm going to click the T for text. I'm going to get a dark color, which will look nicely on red. And I'm going to write down here. Goby alert or something like that. You can decide what you want to put. I'm going to grab it, center it right there. Perfect. 
So now look, there's a goby alert button right there, and the goby is trying to uh, eat all the food, which in fact harms our ecosystem. Hey, I'm going to code the button to flash. Watch how I do that. Uh, so it really grabs your attention. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to um, change costumes, make it brighter. So not change costumes, but change color effect. And instead of color, I'm going to change brightness. Change brightness by 25. Now I'm going to get another one of those. Change brightness by negative 25. There we go. Then I'm going to put a little bit of a weight in between. Weight right there. One second, maybe I'll make that 0 0.3. And I'm going to put another weight right there. Thanks for your patience, 0 0.1, almost done. And then I'm going to put a forever around this whole thing. So now when the green flag is pressed, it's going to go really bright and then not so bright and repeat, repeat, repeat. Ready, green flag, let's watch the alert button. There we go, look at that, it's flashing. The goby is now talking and as soon as he's finished explaining, I'm going to start to catch all of this food. There we go. Wonderful. It's hard to see some of these, they're hiding up there. Anyways, there's our game, the uh, Invasive Species Round Goby Fish game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. And hey, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to chat. Thanks, everyone. Take care.